मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी दिस इज संगीता सक्सेना एडिटर एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स गेटिंग यू लाइव फ्रॉम गांधी नगर द सिटी ऑफ महात्मा गांधी इन अ सिटी विच इज फेमस फॉर नॉट वायलेंस वी हैव अ लॉर ऑफ थिंग्स हैपनिंग विच प्रोबेबली वुड बी कॉन्ट्ररी टू द गांधीन फिलोसफी बट देन इट्स जस्ट द थिंग विच इज नीडेड फॉर टू डेज वर्ल्ड वी नीड टू बी सेल्फ सफिशेंट इन एवरीथिंग वी डू एंड ऑफकोर्स डिफेंस एंड सिक्योरिटी इज अ मेजर प्रायोरिटी फॉर अस and here we have the interview of the morning with the absolute absolute american major which was the biggest in the world boeing and we have with us the team which is very familiar to all our audience the team india at boeing and uh, we have with us the lady gets introduced first she's maria lane and she's vice president for international business and development for defense space and security and global services and we have salil our man for, of boeing in india the india head and salil and maria welcome absolutely salil gupte for everybody's information and maria will start with you how does it feel to be here at def expo in gandhi nagar it's wonderful to be back in india as always and um and it's particularly in this def expo uh, looks phenomenal it's a uh, we're very well attended uh and for me it's always a pleasure to come explore a new uh city in india where i had not been before uh so home state of the prime minister so wonderful to be here and it was a pleasure seeing him speak this morning absolutely and salil how does it feel to be this is your first def expo here and for everybody in osmos for you in a while certainly i mean it's been so i was at the def expo in lucknow last as were you and and it's so it now is on the eve of the pandemic and seeing what all of us in the nation has been through and the world has been through since then uh it's wonderful that we were able to come together uh and they were able to arrange it and get it in here in gandhinagar and for you it's the first time in gandhinagar Uh, what how do how is it different you've seen so many def expos is it different i think the 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 feeling is very different there is a sense of urgency here in gandhinagar about what we need to achieve together uh, on self reliance on ensuring that the right equipment is available to meet the mission requirements in a world that is frankly very different geopolitically and in the region than it was 2 and a half years ago absolutely and i think you know it really makes sense that we get together here with a you know campaign which is india focused makes a lot of sense but you know what is the what is new with, since it's international business what is new that you see here at uh, gandhi nagar with the aim of you know it's an expanding business forever with india india is a growing market and a continuous market also with a very major indigenous component so what is new that you feel here so i think as as a little noted it, it is a different feel um i mean of course make in india has been a big theme for many years now but i think it has been taken to a new level um that message certainly came through loud and clear and prime minister modi's uh, inaugural address um fortunately for boeing you know we have been on that journey for quite some time and so i think we're very well positioned for it already uh and we're not just thinking about it we're already doing it uh and so um but that is certainly the difference today of what i'm seeing and feeling here at defex bo is the significance and strategic importance of that shift to truly truly be focused on just making it in and does it also mean that there could be an increase in the supply chain the, of indians uh in the boeing supply chain the global supply chain uh, absolutely and that's where again we're fortunate that we have already laid such an incredible foundation here in india over the 10 15 year journey that we've been uh working and operating here we continue to build our workforce we continue to work around out our global supply chain and right now we have over 300 suppliers we're sourcing over a billion dollars annually from india and again these are for export everything that india companies are manufacturing for us they are going on our defense products uh that are being exported around the world so we have already been building up that infrastructure and there's more to come right and sanil what is the current situation when it comes to talks about your future uh, you know offerings to the indian defense forces well i think as with everything that we've seen here at the expo before the future offerings have to be well connected to 
concept of supporting self-reliance, right? There is no separation between this is what we're selling or offering and this is what we want to do. So since the last F Expo, we've signed 10,000 cores worth of contracts to make in India in terms of manufacturing. Many of, of those contracts are related to, uh, to um, assets that we are currently offering to the Indian Defense Forces like the Super Hornet, uh, the FA-18 uh, Block 3, which is the world's uh, leading uh, carrier-based fighter designed for the carrier, clearly the best fit for the Indian Navy. And even though we are continuing through that process with the Navy having completed successfully operational demo a few months ago, equally important to that is what we are doing in relation to that in terms of the opportunity to contribute to the self-reliance agenda related to that platform and other platforms. And so for us, these types of things go hand in hand. Right. And Maria, uh, you know, I just wanted to understand from you, when it comes to services, you're also heading global services, you are the vice president for global services. I just wanted to understand that uh, what is the expansion plan for services? You do have a plan in India which is existing. What are the plans which you feel you could improve upon and, you know, make it a better relationship as far as services go in India? No, absolutely. In fact, uh, that is at the heart of our strategy for India because if anything that it should be local, it should be the sustainment and the service support of our life cycle support of our platforms. So right now we have been building that up. Uh, again, we can we need to continue to grow that presence. We will continue to grow that footprint, which is housed in Boeing Defense India. Um, that will continue to expand across our platforms. We will continue to partner with other companies as well. Uh, locally here to ensure that we can offer the fastest turnaround times, the highest mission availability rates, and at competitive prices. So we are going to continue to just expand on those offerings across the board and all of it uh, being focused on how do we do more and more local. Right, and uh, so you know, we're very proud of the footprint that we built to do that already, right? So the MRO for the PA, I Maritime Patrol Aircraft, has been set up, of course, with Airworks. Of course, the news came out yesterday that Airworks is being acquired by Adani, who will also become our partner in this. Uh, just a few months ago, there were three PAs undergoing their scheduled maintenance at the same time at that MRO facility that we worked to put together, and that is unprecedented for maintenance on that aircraft to be done outside the United States. India was the first to do it outside the United States. If you go up to Hinden Air Force Base near Delhi, in Ghazibad, you will see the world's leading, perhaps, C-17 MRO facility that we built with, with our partner, l &T. So you see this footprint coming up in India, and we're very proud to be a part of it. Yes, absolutely. It's just wonderful. And I'm sure that in a few months when we have Aero India, you know, I'm sure we will talk to you again. We'll have a lot more which will come out. And looking forward to that. And wonderful speaking with both of you. Thank you so much for being on our chat show. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Salil. Wonderful.